Another morning, another morning, another arise. Father, we thank you for this day you have made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. We are glad to be a part of it indeed. Never promise, but it was granted. A brand new sheet of paper, a brand new day given to us. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. The author and the finisher. You know the beginning all the way to the end, God. And you have seen it fit to keep us in the land of the living. Father, we are grateful. We are thankful this morning. We are thankful, Lord. We don't have enough tongues to thank you. We are grateful for this morning. In Jesus' name, let your will be done in our lives. Let us be a blessing, especially to those who don't know you yet. Let us be a light that somebody will see a way to find you. In Jesus' name, Father, take your glory, take your honor, take your praise. In Jesus' name, as we arise once again. Lord, come and inhabit the praises of your people. How many of God's people do we have out there tonight? (laughs) Sing this with me. We lift you up, we lift you up. We lift you up on our praises. Yeah. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up on our praises. Come on. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up on our praises. Yeah. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up on our praises. Up. We lift you up, we lift you up, we lift you up on our praises. Yeah. We lift you up, 
We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up on a great day. Good morning to my beautiful wife. Thank God for you. And good morning to the brand new Mullins family. Mr. and Mistress Mullins walking into history. Mullins! Sister Avis, brother Carl. The Mullins are here. New York City make way. World make way. Man of God, woman of God in Christ. Tying the knot. Making it official. Lifting up the name of Jesus. Yes. Mullins, man. Grace and peace, my brother. Christ Christian family Arise. make our Lord proud Arise. always inspired in the morning time Arise. with Pastor Randall 49 always great inspiration Arise. always great inspiration Arise. with Tanga yes Indeed, it's a rise in the morning. Morning to Sancha, Anita, the families in Toronto. Always going to work with Joyce Radio. I'm so glad you died for me. I'm so glad. Shed your blood for me. I'm so glad you rose for me, sweet Jesus.
to me. Jesus. What a God, what a God. Jesus. Buddha couldn't do it for you. Jesus. Confucius couldn't do it either. God is. Jesus. He's God all by himself. and all he's done for me Jesus. I can't help but give him glory Jesus. he is God all by himself Jesus. come on give him glory Jesus. at the name of Jesus demon must flee Jesus. that's the kind of power he's given us we can speak to that sickness and it will leave. That's what he said in his word. He said, I've come to give you life more abundantly. That's what he did at the cross for you and me. That's what he did at the cross for you and me. That's what he did at the cross for you and me. Jesus. But I'm so glad he rose on the third day. Jesus. With all power in his hand. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. 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 Dance 
apostle because I got Jesus. Jesus hallelujah when I think of his goodness and what he's done Jesus. hey morning to those on the phone lines and on the dial up 213-493-0146 arise I gotta give him glory All those on the TuneIn Radio, good morning to you. Glory, hallelujah. Download the TuneIn Radio app. And look for D-Choice Radio. Jesus. Hallelujah. You won't find it in the first elections. Bless the Lord. But scroll the little way down. Give you're going to see other results. Hallelujah. Click on that. Come on, give it. And you're going to see it up there. Probably number two, number three. Hallelujah. D-Choice Radio. Glory. Give somebody life. Your life, your salvation, your choice. Miss S, good morning. Glory. Morning, Miss Moy. Hey, Miss Morrison, good morning. Hallelujah. Pastor Green, morning to you. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory. Pastor St. Louis, good morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Deacon Charles, morning. Brother Edwin, morning. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give him praise. We give him honor. We give him glory. Even though we don't feel like it. He is the great I am. And we must give him credit. Because without him, we are nothing. Those of us who are through, truly, truly. God was sent wind into the system. In Christ. And we totally understand what's going on. Hallelujah. We give praise to Jesus. King of kings and the Lord of lords, Psalms 47 say, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph, for the Lord Most High is terrible. He is the great king over all the earth. He has subdued the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, the Selah. God is gone God is gone up with a shout the Lord with the sound of a trumpet sing praises to God sing praises sing praises unto our king sing praises for God is the king of all the earth sing ye praises with understanding God reigneth over the heathen God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness the princes of the people are gathered together even the people of God of Abraham for the shield of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. Our God. Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve even of the pleasures I've known Tell me, Lord What did I ever do That was worth loving you For the kindness you've shown Lord, So help me, Jesus, I know what I am. Now that I know that I needed you, so help me, Jesus, my soul. I mean, Lord, if you think there's a way I could ever repay all I've taken from you. Maybe, Lord, I can show someone else 
what I've been through myself on my way back to you Lord help me Jesus I've wasted it so help me Jesus I know what And now that I know that I need you, so help me, Jesus, my soul's in your hand. Help me, Jesus, my soul's in Hey, my name is Dempster. Lord, help me, Jesus. I'm waiting. Morning, Pastor Lillian. So hey, morning to all the taxi drivers. Me. It's Choice Radio in the morning. I know what I... Hey, brother MJ, congratulations. You went under the water. <laughs> Woo! Jesus! Yes, my brother. So help me, Jesus. My soul's in your hand. Hey, man, Gooseboro, good morning to you. Go back. Woo! Lewin, good morning. Nelson, morning to you. Foster family. Sister Mata, morning. Who 
in the morning Joyce Radio your life your salvation your choice Ali Thunder family good morning yes Jesus is Lord to the glory of God indeed we are proud to proclaim him he has done so much in our lives and we just want to encourage you who have encountered him in some way some form some fashion amen continue to hold on to what you have learned what you have come into hallelujah the devil is going to try to snatch it from you but hold on to that reality that god has made a change in your life jesus has made a significant change in your life continue to bask in it continue to glow in it and the morning this morning message was so inspiring from a lot of different areas of it because that's the reality in life anytime you're getting higher in christ you're going to face a lot a lot of battles because why you get it warmer Hallelujah, continue. <laughs> but we already figured out that devil, amen. We already know how he operate. And thank God for Pastor Ferdinand that we are getting some real serious facets of revelations. Hallelujah. And that's, the, that's really true, amen. Because as we church radio, we continue to embark on extending ourselves and being able to, to fulfill what God has put in us and to get the gospel across the world. All kinds of things are rising up, but we are closer than, 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 you know, than where we was before. So the evidence is there that once you are getting closer to achieving what God wants you to achieve or to which to a place where, yeah, you will be exalted in the eyes of the Lord, the devil is going to turn up the heat and the reality is right there. So we all have the evidence that we know we're going to keep looking forward and keep going forward in the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Here is a, something here, um, Psalms, a portion from Psalms 49. Hear this. All ye people, give air, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich, poor, together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open my dark saints unto the harp. Wherefore, should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my hill shall come past me about? They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. None of them can be by any means redeem his brother. No, give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious and it ceaseth forever. That he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he See it that the wise men die, likewise the fool, and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling place to all generations. They call their lands after their own names, nevertheless, 
Man being in honor abided not. He is like the beasts that perish. Hallelujah. We give him praise. So important, people of God. To get into the very presence of God. Nothing else matters now. In fact, I want you to find yourself right in the Holy of Holies. see his presence I'm in his presence and while I'm there thanking him I know that I have a right whatever I need he will supply I believe tonight somebody just wants him to open up the windows of heaven for you let it rain send down your blessings lord i just need you to move in this place tonight i just need you to move in this place tonight. he's doing it right now hallelujah open the floodgates of heaven let it rain Let it rain Open The floodgates Of heaven Let it rain Let it rain Help me somebody say it tonight Open the floodgates of heaven Let it rain Let it rain Let it rain That's all I want you to do now Lord Open the floodgates of heaven Open the floodgates of heaven Let it rain 
but I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. Anybody feel the rain? As you step out the door this morning, step out with courage. Feel the rain. Step out with faith. You have come into something great. And here you feel the Jesus. Rain. Lord of your soul. I feel Be encouraged. Maybe you need to look to the highest degree this morning. It's raining. It's raining. Let nothing stop you. Let nothing hold you back. 38 minutes past the seven. It's raining. One is the glorious, it's a Nicole morning. It's raining. Full gospel come to tell you it's raining. It's raining. It's a Betty morning. It's raining. It's raining. Can I just thank you for the rain, Lord? All those who already found the secret of Jesus. Thank you for the rain. You're locked in. Thank you for the rain. Nothing can move you. Mm-hmm. Morning, Brother Brian. Morning to all the evangelists. Whistling morning. All those who goes on the street. Hey, Brother Raymond, morning to you, man. Brother Neville, morning. Sister Elena, Sister Verna. Mommy Mon to say morning. Sister Bowers. Sister Fable morning. Sister Cardo morning. It is Joyce ready in the morning time. Arise. It's call all those already on their way to work, already on city marketed on the jobs. Good morning to you, Sister Lana and the folks up there in Mount Sinai. All those in the nursing capacity, whatever you're doing, be careful to <laughs> To encounter the the angels, I know you know the angels gonna then be you know we gotta be careful that you 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 be you know dealing with some angels, all right? So very sensitive job, you gotta do it right with everybody. Amen. To every one of us. I give myself away so you let them use us you. all the time, continually. I give myself away continuously. Myself away. Morning, Sister Maggie. So you can come on. Morning, up. Sabina. I give myself away. I give myself away. Sister Linda, morning to you. So you can you know the family in Christ. I give myself away. Morning, Sister Beverly, Sister Rhonda. Happen. Sister Veronica morning. This. Sister Vashti. Come on, tell me. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am.
give myself, I give myself to you.
Wait 10 more minutes to the 8 If you get in there for 8 o'clock You gotta step on it Choice Radio in the morning Your life, your salvation, your choice This is a Gloria morning This is a G morning All the family, everybody All the listeners, good morning We thank you, amen Oakley family Gabriel All those who graduated Congratulations Hallelujah Maybe sometimes we must base it down Take it back to the basic Come back right there to the foot of the cross And give him praise, acknowledge him once again Sometimes we have gotten so big For our bridges, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you Jesus for this morning Thank you for another awakening Thank you for life again you have spared our life one more time in the name of Jesus. We come before you and we thank you for our granting us, yes, another day in the land of the living. It's Choice Radio. When the music fades, Antoine Morning, Antoine Family, and I simply come, longing just to breathe. Something that's of worth That will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song For a song in itself Is not what you have required You search much deeper within Through the way things appear This is the Pamela morning. Jesus. It's all about Jesus, nothing about us. Yes. It's all about you. Something you gotta remember. It's all about in this Christian walk. It's all about Allowing self to die. It's 
Yeah, increasing more God in us, more Jesus in us. Devouring self, allowing self to fall, that we can rise in Christ. Jesus. Hallelujah. Great rendition. Five more minutes before the top of the hour, eight o'clock. When we come and open the phone lines. And today we'll be talking about, you know, Christians and how sensitive Christians are if they are not being acknowledged and, you know, design vain glory and, you know, how, how devastating that could be for the Christian believer in focusing on what is important to Christ. Amen. And representing a Christly fashion. So we're going to come and talk about that and, you know, express it and bring it out forward and open it up to us and see how devastating it is for the Christian family to be sensitive when you are not recognized and people don't call you forward and you are not being exalted in a certain way, you know what I mean, and how devastating it is. We take the focus away from Jesus and bring it on ourselves, amen? And definitely it's a very devastating place to be, you know. Some people, if they are not acknowledged, it's like they cannot go forward, you know what I mean? If their name is not mentioned, they're not on a flyer, they're not, the picture is not dead, and they, <laughs> hallelujah, Jesus. We come back and talk about it at 8 o'clock. Morning to all those getting in there for 9. We got a little time, but keep it moving. Here comes our glacier. How excellent is your name. Your name. In all the earth. Of course, the Christian walk a fine line. A fine line. Make sure we stay on that part. Sister Shaman, good morning to you. Your better days are ahead of you. In the name of Jesus. How excellent is your name. Your name. In all the earth. How marvelous are your ways. Your ways. Your matchless word Lamb of God King of kings Sovereign one, you're my everything And only you are holy Only you are holy Holy Lord, Holy Lord, how excellent is your name, your name in all the earth. How marvelous! Your ways, your ways, your matchless word, Lamb of God, King of Kings, Sovereign One, you're my everything. Only you are holy. Only are holy yeah. only you are holy Lord you're holy 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 is Lamb holy holy is the Lord holy Lamb of God, King of Kings, Sovereign One, You are everything. Yes, mm. only You, only You, only, only You are holy, Lord. Only. A 
Good morning, Sister Elaine. Lamb of God, King of Kings, Sovereign One, you're my every, every, everything. Only you are holy. Yeah. Morning, Sister Suzette. Only you are holy. In 
indeed. Five minutes on the other side of the eight o'clock. It's Choice Radio in the morning time. Your life, your salvation, your choice. We have made that choice, Jesus. And of course, we always here to encourage the saints to keep moving on as I send the word out. It comes back to me and remind me where I'm coming from and what God has done in my life. And I want to maintain that level, maintain that, that walk that I'm walking. And we're here to encourage each other that we all can continue to go on in Christ Jesus. This morning, I, I want to talk about something I think is very important and very critical that we pay attention to. Because many times in life, what we realize is we, we lose the handbook, the basic fundamental principles that have got it started in the first place. As a matter of fact, the basic principles that have um, established us in the faith of Christ Jesus, the things that made us come into him and, you know, got, got started in Christ. And for some reason, somewhere along the line, we, thought, we sort of forget what it is this whole thing is all about. And um, something I think that is, is deteriorating and continue to, to destroy the basic um, fabric of the Christian family or the Christian life or what Christianity is all about or represents is the little things that we going on in within the the, um, the body of Christ and sometimes it's not addressed or not addressed in the right way not addressed that you know people realize that you know what is against Christ and what does not represent the body and things continue to go on until they fester and becomes bad sores hallelujah so it's important from time to time that we point out certain things certain negatives that does not go along with a healthy christian behavior you understand me and we need to step on those patterns and and and, and bring them down in the name of jesus that we can move forward in glory hallelujah because once those things rise up immediately we remove the presence of godliness hallelujah and holiness and we must attack those things and, and, and cut them down in proverbs 6 and 16 these six things do it the lord hate yea seven are an abomination unto him a proud look a lying tongue hands that shed innocent blood a heart that devised it, wicked imaginations feet that be swift run into mischief a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay, um, that's something very, very um, crucial and critical that we must look at. And we must revisit those areas from time to time that we make sure we are not falling victims. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. And that's what love is about. That's what the family should be about. Hallelujah. Our brother's keeper. Hallowed be the name of the Lord Jesus. 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, and he said, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, um, this morning is important that we raise this topic up and we, we bring it from different perspectives. We know everybody have encountered something or probably going through right now, this very moment. People that they sit around and sit with and congregate with that, that does not present the right persona as a Christian and, and, and making it very uncomfortable for them to function in that capacity around different people because we have taken up so many different characteristics that does not represent the Christian life and therefore creating hindrance in our Christian walk and Christian development and not being able to use properly by the Holy Spirit because we all have allowed those negative spirits to come in and dwell within us. And we must point them out so that they can be seen and known and be recognized or be acknowledged by the culprits or those who have been caught up with that spirit because it is a spirit. Hallelujah. And... Um, the, 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 the key we want to open this morning, and if you have had those, those experiences, you know, it's important that you point it out and bring it out and express your, your concerns, uh, express what you have experienced in your Christian walk and, and stuff like that, that we can find a way to break it. Uh, you know what I mean? Break those cycles and people who are going through those situations can find out, oh, well, this is me. I realize this is always happening to me. I don't know why I'm thinking about this, about this sister or why I'm thinking that way. But, hey, if it's wrong, I need to cut it out. I need to be, you know, um, you know, 
you know, have this thing taken away from me. So, so um, Christians, are, I realize, are very sensitive. You know, that was something I noticed out in the world. And then we realize it in Christendom that Christians are very sensitive. You know, if you don't acknowledge them, you don't acknowledge them the right way, you didn't call them. They don't know what's going on in your mind. They don't know what you're thinking. They don't know what you're facing. They don't know what you're meditating on. They don't know what's going on. But they will take certain things very, very, very personal. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, and the Bible speaks about desiring vain glory. There are many times people want to be exalted. You know, they want people to always acknowledge them. They want to be in a position where they are always sinned. They are always heard. You know, they have to be on the forefront. They must be in the front line. And those things are devilish. It's, it's not of God. You know what I mean? You, of course, we are called in different capacities to do different things. And of course, if we have talents in different areas, it is good that we bring it out and we come out and, you know, let God use us. But I'm talking about in the sense that if you are not being called or you are not being used in one area or if somebody come and they have something, you know, you want to jump in front or you want to jump in line. And, you know, and those things create so much problem within the Christian body that the spirit of God is not able to function in the way it's supposed to. Because as, as a body... The body have different parts that help to make up the body that the body can function. Amen. So the question this morning, or well, the statement this morning, really, are Christians too sensitive in, in stuff in stuff where they are not being acknowledged? Are they too sensitive if they are not being acknowledged? And how devastating it is for the Christian family to proceed and be able to be a viable entity in society that the power of God can come from us, that we can, you know, be seen as people who know Jesus Christ, who have something to offer society. Amen. So if you're out there in Radio Land and you have something you want to share this morning, something you want to bring forward this morning, it is very important that you call and you share it with the family that we, you know, will continue to have this conversation, which is well-deserved and well, you know, you know, really and truly deserving to, to have. Amen? Because um, sometimes people might look at you and they might just feel, well, oh, you're this kind of person or you're that kind of person, and they really and truly do not know you, and they really don't know about you. And, and those things need not be in the Christian family. You see what I'm saying? The world all day, yes, they could do that. But as Christians, mm -mm, that's not for the Christian body at all. We must come to a place of, of, of maturity when we understand what Christ is all about what it means to be a servant, what it means to serve, what it means to understand your brother and understand this and, and be at a low place where we are servants, where we humble be, before each other and be able to serve. Amen? So the number 347-663-8638, if you understand the question or the um, statement this morning and you're willing to share in it, definitely it's important that we do that, that we can be able to, to find out within ourselves our shortcomings, what we are lacking, according to um, Brother Philip of the segment, what lack I yet. Hallelujah. So we must point out and know where we are at in our Christian walk that we can remove certain things or, and, and move to another level. Amen. 347-663-8638. The phone is open if you're out there in Radio Land and you want to share something this morning. Are Christians too overly sensitive if they are not acknowledged? When they are not acknowledged. 347 663 8638. surely failing as trials come both late. Center, I'm now standing, not a trace. This is the ball of morning. Inside, but a Greenwich and morning to the family. Tears were only red and drops. The universe would be floating now. So, Lord, I call you. Morning, sister Jennifer. Today, All the family. This is the Carol morning. It's anti morning. Hold my hand today. 347 663 With a walk of morning. With a Alexander morning.
347 This is the Blackman Morning. That's all I ask of thee. Don't be shy, don't be intimidated if you understand where I'm coming from. You get this happen because sometimes you, you might go someplace else. Um, well, for instance, my wife is a very, very simple person, very forgiving, very, I mean, if you don't know my wife, you really don't know her. And you might think all this thing, and you know, my, my wife is just a very simple, humble, not a show off, not a bluff, just a simple person, just no big deal. But many times when people meet my wife, they really don't know my wife, they will think all kinds of stuff. You see what I'm saying? So we have these things that, you know, you go out there and, and people create such a big thing out of nothing. And we're talking about the Christian family where we should understand what Jesus came for and what he died for and, and what we supposed to be as, as Christians. You know what I mean? 347-663-8638 My strength surely failing As trials come both late are Christians too sensitive Center when they are not acknowledged? No. Let's go to the first caller. Caller, good morning, greetings. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are Brother you? Brother Alexander here. Grace, grace and peace. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No, I know, the question is, are uh, Christians too sensitive? Many Christians are very, very sensitive because of their quote-unquote position in the church, rather. If you don't call some people by their quote-unquote name, doctor, uh, evangelist, or, or any other name that, that they have acquired, they, do not, they don't take you on, as a matter of fact. They do not look at you because they feel that um, you, you, you are beneath them. I've heard this. I have heard it with my own ears where a woman told another one, let her go and bring that to me. I am above her. She's beneath me. I am Dr. So-and-so and so-and-so, and she is no just sister. You know, these things are not Christian. Christians are supposed to be brothers and sisters, and you don't treat your brother and your sister because we all say our father. That means we are brothers and sisters. You know, too many people get swell-headed when they have a little position in the church. You know, there's no big I and no little use with Christ. Christ is our Savior, making intercessions for us, forgiving us our sins as we forgive our trespasses. We are to go to him and ask for forgiveness and forgive our brothers and sisters in the same way. Jesus never walk around punging his chest and saying, I am the child, I am the son of God. And as a matter of fact, there are only two places in biblical history where Jesus admitted to whom he was. When he asked Peter, who do men say I am? Peter answered. When he said, Peter, who do you say I am? He thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And when he spoke to the woman at the well, and she told me, she said, I know Messiah is going to come, and when he comes, going to show us all these things. He said, the person to whom you're speaking, I am he. Those are the only two places that I know in biblical history where Jesus admitted to whom he was, and he was Emmanuel, God with us. In the book of St. John, Gospel, the first chapter, the 14th verse, he said, and the word became flesh. He is the Word. I think it's Second John five seven. Tell you, there are three that bears witness in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. So we cannot be high-minded, heady, high-minded. You know, these things are not pertinent to Christianity. Those are things of outside the world. When we come to Christ. We are brothers and sisters. We are of one. 
one flesh and one blood. As Hebrews 2.14 tells you, for in as much as the children were of flesh and blood, he too had to be a partaker in order to defeat him who had the power of death. That is the devil. So when we start to uh, elevate ourselves above each other, we are falling into that same category as being sons and daughters of Satan, not of God. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 53, he tells you that where he was just like a root, like a plant that would grow up. Yeah? He had taken no personal form. And when we see him, we would not know him to be anybody else. If Judas hadn't gone and kissed him, they would not know who he was. He was just like any other person. He did not take any glory for anything. Although he was God in the flesh. You know, so we, we have to be very... And another thing that we, we have to notice, Paul, one of the greatest theocrats, when Paul wrote, he Paul never took any any big thing for himself. I, Paul, a prisoner. I, Paul, a servant. He always gave himself that low esteem that he was a prisoner and he was a servant of God. John calls us little children. So we have to be careful of how we use the, 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 the authority that God has given us to use it in the capacity in which it will give everyone the same flow. Even though you're an evangelist, even though you are a pastor, you are still a servant of the true and living God. And if not highfalutness, you don't bring yourself to big esteem, to exalt yourself over. You, you do not do it with, with, with uh, according to thing in the book of Titus, to rail over anyone else. You are only the steward. You are given the, the stewardship of the of the, the, the congregation. You know? So that 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 is what is, is taking place in the Christian world. Many people are getting titles and the uh, living off the titles. They love the titles. You have to call them by their title. There's someone that I know personally and um all this so if you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. I am so, 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 so. And that's wrong. That's wrong. So you're saying that some people need to read the Bible again? Pardon? You're saying some people should read the Bible again? Well, some people, they don't even use the Bible. Most of the time, they... They just, they just use the title. So they like to be called doctors, like in the book, I think it's Matthew, they say they like to broaden the philatory, sit in Moses' seat, having the best seat in the marketplace to be called rabbi, rabbi, rabbi master. No, we are all children of God. A Christian is a child of God. We are children of God. We are servants of the true and living God. So we do not exalt ourselves over another brother or sister. Yes, you have you you, you have um your rank portion of thing to yes, what you have to do, but you do it in meek humility. In meekness. You don't overact, you don't overact on and someone call someone beneath you because well you doctor whoever, and so they have to do your biddings because you are higher than them, you are greater them. I am up to this, but I got my degree and I paid for my degree and I have, no sir, no ma'am, that's not it. That's not how I see it. You know? Hallelujah. It's, it's, it's different, it's different. Yeah. We, we, we have to know that who we are, brothers and sisters. In Christ. Of one father, you see. So we, it's not that he is your father and he's my stepfather. 
No, sir. No, ma'am. Amen. Thank you, my brother, for your contribution this morning. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you for being the first caller on the forum this morning. Yes, sir. And like I said, um, I appreciate the fact that you took time out of the busy schedule and you came and you prayed with my family. And the family appreciate that very much. Very much. We appreciate very much because in the Spirit of God works in a way that many people don't understand. When the Spirit of God is moving, it moves. It moves. So again, I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Me and my family, we thank you. And um, maybe Mike invited to come back and pray with her again sometime. We In Jesus' you. name. My brother, be blessed. Thank you for the call. Amen. Caller, good morning. You're next. Praise the Lord. Good morning. I greet Praise you in the, the name of Jesus this morning. On the topic, um, I just would like to read also a portion of Scripture. In Luke sixteen fifteen, And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. You know, it happens all the time that uh, in the churches, people love to be acknowledged and esteemed. And it has been my personal experience that all through the, the different uh, churches, they spend a lot of time giving out awards for uh, coming uh, to so many Sunday school classes on time, uh, what they did in the church, uh, even gone as far to announce how much money that they collected from them, and all of that. And it always made me very, very sad, uh, because first of all, I leave the church saying, my goodness, I didn't hear one thing about the Lord in here today, and I sat here for two and a half hours. And uh, it makes the other people feel so uncomfortable, because, um, <laughs> you know, it's a very sad thing. The sad thing is that the, the leadership does it, and the other sad thing is that we uh, like it. You know, we like it when they call upon us and they let us uh, let the whole congregation know how wonderful and marvelous we are. And that's a very um, slippery slope. It should never be because what you're doing is you're um, seeking to be honored. It's so much better that you know that you're doing what's right according to God and in His sight, and then He will honor you. That's why there's another scripture that says, take the lowest seat, and the Lord does give you promotion. Now, yes, you know, uh, we have sensitivity as Christians because it used to happen to me. I, I, I'm sensitive about a lot of things, and I used to pray the Lord to take that away from me, to, to harden my heart. I used to pray that prayer when I was ignorant of, of the truth of the Word of God. And a very, you know, nice pastor said to me, um, Sister, you know, you shouldn't pray. That's a terrible thing you're praying. God gave you a heart of sensitivity for soul winning and to, and to minister to the people. You see the difference? And, you know, all of these topics are so important, and it, and it does mature you. It has to. If you, if, you, if you come to understand, it's not nice, and it's wrong, and it's sin against God. He, he tells you in so many of the scriptures in the Bible, it's sin against Him when you seek... Um, adoration from people, when you seek people to always be thanking you and um, esteeming you highly, okay, because when the Lord pulls you up, everybody will see. He says, I will make a, a table before you in the presence of your enemies, because all of this extra talking and lifting up and patting each other, it's like the good old boys club, you know, it's, uh, it's not good. So, no, it, it, it's not good. And Christians are not too sensitive. If you have sensitivity, if you feel that you're sensitive, you could ask God to harness that. Because there's a, um, I have, I, I have, I have a, a problem in that area of being sensitive. So when I came to understand, I pray, I pray this every morning, and I say, Lord... I thank you that I have emotions, that I have, you know, sensitivity. I'm sensitive to things, but they don't have me. And then I say, I declare and decree I'm not touchy, fretful, or easily provoked. See? And then the Lord, the Holy Spirit comes and he strengthens you in that area. Right. Well, um, I think we should make a clear distinction at, about sensitive because um, 
in the spirit the spirit of god wants you to be sensitive that you can understand yes. and sense and know and be discerning as to what you did you should do what you shouldn't do what is right what is wrong but i'm talking about sensitive in the capacity of because you are not being acknowledged you take everything so personal or somebody didn't say good morning to you they didn't come and greet you openly in front of everybody or they didn't make a big show of it you or they probably didn't do it that flamboyant way whatever and then you feel well they didn't do it enough or but you don't know what that person is going through and and we need to understand you know that everybody have different things that they're going on with so those things shouldn't be a border so this i'm talking about sensitive in that area not sensitive that you don't see your brother going through something or like the bible tell us to do certain things not just talk about it so if you're sensitive where you see somebody in need and you will reach out and say well sister could i help you with this could i help you with that that's great i'm talking about we all as christians should be sensitive to know when the spirit of god wants us to be of help or be assist of assistance but i'm talking about sensitivity in the sense where you don't feel that you are acknowledged enough you don't feel somebody you know acknowledge you you know people don't call your name your your picture is not looking yeah. good on the flyer or something like that whatever little stuff that you think is such a big deal so that's the area so we want to really keep it in that premise so we understand what we're talking about Yes, and so sensitivity in that area, in the natural, not getting accolades from whoever and who's acknowledging you. Um, as a Christian, we should not let that bother us, and that takes maturing. We should not allow that to bother us or cause, to, cause us to have a bad day, or uh, because there are no bad days in the life of the Christian. Um, and that takes maturing. That takes speaking to yourself, uh, reading the Word of God, and understanding that, you know, we do ex we have an expectation of, so I would say, um, uh, you know, manners, but as far as, um, you know, lifting you up, you know, before the congregation and, and not uh, acknowledging you, isn't that, am I understanding the question correctly, not saying thank you, not, in the natural you're talking. Yes, of I course, understand. of course, yes. of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And no, and and it, my my opinion would be that no, that we have to ask God if we get pinched, if something pinches us, um, because I'm mature now, so it's a little bit you know I I, I understand it, because things used to pinch me, yes. So then you turn around and you say, Lord, you know, well that that bothered me, and you know, and you ask God to help you and to and to and to uh, bring you to a level where after a while those things don't bother you because you know you're about doing the. God, the work of the Lord. You see, you know, you and God are one. You are connected to the Holy Spirit. It's a different mindset that I have today. I can only speak for myself, that I have today than I had last year. I, I, I used to be pinchy about those things because you... Um, uh, you think that that's loving you. You think that that's being in a group. You think all those things you think is when you really get into the Word, you understand it is the Holy Spirit that does all of these things. It is the Holy Spirit that promotes you. It is the Holy Spirit that's, that's really thanking you by giving you this life now where those things don't bother you anymore. So the sensitivity in the natural that we may have to that, we can just put it in the hands of the Holy Spirit and acknowledge it that that's what, that it, we, we don't want to be pinchy and touchy because that is not being grounded and rooted in the things of God. God is the one who esteems us highly. And when you are led by the Holy Spirit and do what the Holy Spirit has uh, asked you to do, then the... You, you feel that you know that the Lord is uh, thanking you, in, in, you know, so to speak. He's thanking you. He's thanking you. It's, it's our expected service, you know, to, to walk in the things of God and not be pinchy when we're not acknowledged by other people. Amen. And as you're saying this, I remember even before I got saved, there are, I, we had two people on, the, on Choice Radio before I got saved and before we were totally all Christian ministry <laughs> who came when I was two preachers on Sunday night. And when they come there, all they was interested in was the phone and the phone, how the phone work, how the phone work. And as they started the program, they just played probably two songs and started talking about the phone number is this. Give us a call. Give us a call. Tell us how we're doing and tell us how we're doing. And well, yeah. people was not used to that on Choice Radio because we never have it that way We you know, one, we just putting people on the air, putting people on the air. We have things in a kind of way that are kind of standard. If we, the phone is open, then the phone is open. And if we have a topic, then the phone is open. People understand it's time for calling and now is the time to listen. So, so yeah. the audience on Choice Radio was never used to that, just being on the air, just calling anytime and getting on the air, just any kind of crazy old way. 
So they were not getting the response that they wanted, and they probably came two weeks, and they just don't come back. Yeah. Because they were well, coming to, what, yeah. to they were coming to lift up themselves. They're coming for people to call them and say, "Oh, you're playing such a beautiful song. Could you play it again?" And uh, you know all this. <laughs> Yes, and it's not, and, and it's all, like I said, there are many scriptures that talk about when you esteem yourself highly, when you put yourself above, when you expect that you are greater than the other person, when you expect that person to constantly be thanking you and, and uh, you know, giving you accolades, and you're looking for men's approval, but a man doesn't know our heart. And so he could never approve us. Once we're born again, child of God, we're already approved. The stamp of approval is all over us. I mean, you see, as you, as you, what's about, you know, uh, being approved already by the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is in you. And um, as much as I understand how fall into that because it's a natural thing to fall into now because the holy spirit has taught me um it's not good you just you just have to realize it's not good and you should not be looking for men's approval in th- in that way you know that we you're, you are excellent because christ is in you you believe the holy spirit has called you to do whatever it is that you're doing as unto the lord and you are um that there the gratification of knowing that the holy spirit is pleased with you is is what we we should be seeking. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew 23 he said, but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever yeah. shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Amen. So Amen. definitely, indeed, Amen. we thank you for the call this morning. And those um, impartation is important for the Christian family to be developed and to be rounded and to be grounded and to be to be comfortable that they have received yes. Christ. And what man says to them or says about them really and truly should not matter. We should look to look look beyond that. Look to the mark of the Amen. higher calling, Amen, which is in Christ yes, Jesus. Yes, Amen. And the final, the final uh, scripture just came to my mind is, you know, what what does it matter? You know, what can man do to you? You know, it is God by the power of the Holy Spirit that gives us all things perfect and wonderful. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Thank you, my sister. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' all name. All right. Bye-bye. Let's go to the phone again. Call a good morning. Call a good morning. Glory to Jesus. Uh, minister. Good morning, sir. I, uh, you always come but some good, very good question. You know, but alone, I was in the sixth place there. And I remember, I, Thursday morning, God, right? I was outside uh, the window. It's the one door from there. And I tell in my name, he's not a man of God, but I want to come over. I got to tell it. I said, you know, you remember the ship and the sea. Remember Peter and Hebron was the Moses and Jesus. Peter called Jesus, called out Peter. I said, he, after Peter came out, he was sinking. And I said, why well, he was sinking? You know what? He took his eye off Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what I said to him. Yes, he take his eye off Jesus. And I said, Brother Louis, not taking his eye off. Hallelujah. I said, hey, when I go down that place, I said to the world of you, you see me? I'm going to come out here and leave it all out of And Brother Louis come out, try to leave him all and I tell you something, I, every day I have to go down to the area, but I go down to the street. They call me, she come from training that she put in some keys and, you know, she said she love me. I want to, you know what I do, my brother? I call her, I look over here, and I say, she be, I'm a man of God, you know, I'm a man of God. And if I tomorrow, the Lord will look somebody for me. I'm not running. And I say, she, and I say, I don't need no woman like no. And I, I see you know what she said. The other day, I go down there again and say, and she said, you see you? I'll about you the fire speed. It will be, I tell you, I'm not working. I'm not this. When all want to be like all these Christian, 
Uh, you speak like it's Christian, all right? One hundred one from Russia, yeah, Russia. A uh, light skin lady, she always there, but I know it. I hold it. I say, no, I don't You're want your no eyes one on to Jesus. hold me away. So I'm not like our police. <laughs> so I can walk, I cannot walk. She telling me she loves me and she has three child. All right. right. So you, 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 uh, you, uh, you. Yes, I don't say it to me, Mom. I'm a child of the Lord. You're keeping your eyes on Jesus. Lord will get somebody for me. Amen. He will, he will, right. he will, he will, he will, he will. <laughs> we have to know how to take these people, these brothers and sisters. Yes. And I say, sorry, look how it go like that. Now my sister died as I was telling you in Jamaica. And I say, look, you cannot do no. You cannot. You have no papers. I say, you see, if you get married and come go to church like your brother, I say, look, I don't want to have this brother going on two weeks' time. Hallelujah. Give him praise, my brother. So we... You cannot go. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we do. We and I tell you all the time to get married. I don't tell you come in my church. I go in none of your church. There is many church around. Amen. Thank you, my brother Lewin. Yes. We give him praise. I thank I'm you. <laughs> yep. Thank you, my brother. Keep your eyes on Jesus. I don't say come to Pastor Lally Church. I was trying to make it to Pastor Lally to my church so no I couldn't make it. You know minister I yesterday uh, your church is to call me and she said, Brother Lewin, we miss you so much in church. Hallelujah. When you min- uh, go there to minister preach and then sing you see her uh, so not I never know that sister looking at me like that. I'm going up there and minister, uh, and I say, see me, when I come back to church, I'm going to minister very hard. Uh, I'm going to the hospital and come out. It's around six months now, so look for me when I come back to minister different. All right. Tell them why I am here and I'm in the home of there. I go around it's a place nobody knows about Jesus up there. Right. You know what I say to them up there, Minister? I say, what happened when they see me come here now? Oh my, it says, I come here and know Jesus. I say, I know Jesus I have a long time. <laughs> I know what happened to me now, so. When I hear me, Minister, you know, I don't come here to go, no one. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, my brother. Jesus Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. I love you. Say thank you. Later. Yes, my brother. Later indeed. <laughs> yes, my yes. Glory to you. Glory to the name of Jesus. Brother Low in there. 843, the man is on fire, anointed and appointed by Jesus to speak that name that is above every name. Such a zeal for the Lord Jesus, and we definitely thank God for his anointing. Because he is anointed. You don't hear it? Yeah, man, he's anointed. 44 minutes after 8 o'clock this morning, we're talking about Christians and their sensitivity when they are not being acknowledged in the family. Being so sensitive, desiring vain glory, want to be noticed all the time. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. If you out there, you with a comment, something you want to share this morning. What are we saying that this character is not of God, and this is not of God. This kind of thing does not represent the Christian family, the Christian life. It's not a good Christian characteristics. And we must be aware if we are falling in that place. And um, what Brother Lewin said just now, taking his eyes off Jesus, is really and truly what it is. Because many people who start off, start off good in Jesus. They, they did start off good. But somewhere along the line, they took their eyes off Jesus. 
Thank you. 347-663-8638. Are Christians too sensitive if they are not acknowledged? 347-663-8638. Sister Linda Morning. Seven six six three eight six three. Getting there for nine. You gotta step it. Are Christians too sensitive if they are not acknowledged? A storm of fear now surrounds me. A failing heart is all I see. Broken dreams with painful. Hey, come on, don't be shy, don't be intimidated if you have something to share with the family. Hey, rise up and share it. Get it off your stomach. Overcoming by your testimony. Getting it out. If that is you this morning and you want us to pray with you, that God is going to break that spirit. Call us up. Let's pray, let's agree together. God is going to take you in a new dimension. And hold my hand. Uncover the devil this morning. Christians too sensitive when they are not acknowledged, they are not recognized. So hold my head. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. Very very critical application for the Christian family. Very very serious. Give us your comment. Let us hear what you went through, what you have encountered. As we all continue to develop. In the Christian family. 347-663-8638. A Christian so sensitive. When they are not being acknowledged. Hallelujah. We give him praise this morning. We give him praise. Morning to all the taxi drivers. Leave some words of encouragement with your customers and your passengers today. Tell them Jesus loved them. Leave them something that they can ponder on today. 
Bible says appointed unto man once to die, then come the judgment. Are you ready to be judged by God? Are you living your life looking forward to the judge? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Valencia Morning. 347-663-8638 if you're out there in Radio Land and you want to chime in definitely this morning. Like I said, whenever we spark up something, it's just for us to be reminded of what it is that could be devouring us and from a Christian walk and taking us away from the promise of God and not allowing us to reach to the promised land that Christ had designated for us to reach. We have to point out the variables and the things that can cause us to be hindered in our Christian walk. And that's what life is about. That's what family is about. That's what the family of Christ should be about. Amen. As we encourage the saints to walk forward, keep moving on with Jesus because he is faithful to deliver all that he has promised. Amen. But we have a part to play in it. And we have, might have different things that we get involved with that can hinder us in our Christian growth, development, and in bearing fruits that is workable in the kingdom. So it's important that from time to time we come forward with something that will help us to reiterate and, and, and reevaluate our steps and how we continue to walk. And that is what love is about. That is what family is about. That is what we're supposed to do, the Christian family, that we remind each other. Hallelujah. Iron sharpened iron. So if you're out there in Radio Land, don't be offended if you hear those things and they represent your personality. or uh, But they once was a representative of you. But no longer have you have heard this message today, you will strive to be a new man in Christ. And that's the key. That's what's good about it. When you hear it, you are able to fix it because faith commit, 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 constant play, commit by hearing. The more we hear it, we are able to develop and go into it if we submit ourselves. Amen. Another very important application is a person being willing to submit themselves to the ways of Christ. Are you willing to submit? to what God has commanded you to do. Hallelujah. 347-663-8638. Sister Oded Morning. Sister Merle. Brother Lionel Morning. Matteson. My strength surely failing As trials come both late center I'm now standing not a trace of hope inside and if tears were only raindrops the universe would be flooding now so Lord I call you today please don't pass me Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. If you're a Christian, you're having a hard time. Please hear my. You always grudge people. You're jealous people. You want to be like other people. That spirit is continuing to roam in your life. We can break that spirit with two or three weaknesses. Let every word be established. Let's chase that demon. Get him out of the way. Three four seven six six three eight six three. Are Christians too sensitive when they are not acknowledged? If they are not acknowledged, are they too sensitive? Are they taking this thing so personal when they are not being acknowledged, not being recognized? They are not being given some sort of award or some sort of recognition and how devastating that is 347 663 8638 if you're out there with something to share this morning a testimony sister Samuel morning come both left and right and in the 
center I'm now standing Not a trace of hope inside And if tears were only raindrops The universe would be flooding Matthew 23 and starting from 9 he says and call no man your father upon this earth hallelujah for one is your father which is in heaven neither be ye called masters for one is your master even Christ but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased and he that shall humble shall be exalted that is according to the word of the lord that is according to what god wants us to be and how we should be represented and how we should represent ourselves hallelujah being a servant among us hallelujah being willing to do something good being willing to humble with with the spirit of god in us that people are going to see Christ in us. Hallelujah. So we need not to get it twisted and get it the other way and want to be exalted and acknowledged. So it's very important that we understand that this is totally against the plan of God. Hallelujah. Once we want to be on top, we want to be known, we want to be acknowledged, we want to be recognized. Hallelujah. This is not of God. It's not of God at all. God wants you to be humble. Humble and just do his will, do his work. Do what he wants you to do. Be a sovereign to those around you. Be willing to serve. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. We're going to definitely defeat that spirit today in the name of Jesus. If you're out there in Radio Land, we want you to consume this information. Take it in and move to a new level as we develop to be strong Christians, strong believers in the body of Christ. Credible, mature Christian who understand what it means to be a Christian, to be a servant in the kingdom of the living God. Hallelujah. Because he said it very clearly. Those who exalt themselves will be abased. You don't want to be abased by God in the last days. You don't want to be abased by God at the judgment seat. Hallelujah. You don't want that. No one wants that. Hallelujah. We want to go there and he's going to say, well done. Our faithful, good and faithful servant. Amen. And, and that's what we want to hear. So we don't want to go there high-minded and think that we did it all. We want to go there humble, just doing what he has asked us to do, that when we get there, he is going to exalt us. So we must be mindful and paying attention to the plans and the devices that the enemy is using to destroy the, the Christian family from within. Amen? And if we are not vigilant and we are not paying attention we would not see those things. That's why your brother's keeper will let you know. Or say, hey, sister, hey, brother, hey, I, I realize you, you know, you're kind of going away. You're moving away from the thing. And that is what is very important about the family. But Lewin call and gave something very important this morning that he shared. That, you know, taking your eyes off Jesus. Hallelujah. You take your eyes off Jesus, you're going to sink. Hallelujah. So we need to keep our eyes on those things and continue to chew on it according to pastor you know chew on these things that we get it right because faith cometh by hearing if you stop hearing it you're going to think it's okay to do it you're going to think it's okay it's normal it's natural it's what we do nowadays mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. it's not what we do as christians that's not what we do as christians we come in we are thankful we are grateful that god has has changed us he has translated us from darkness to marvelous light he had made us whole he had made us new and everything can be found in him and because we are grateful we want to be servants and telling somebody else about jesus christ we want to be serving in that kingdom that when we serve well we will be ready to serve in the heavenly kingdom and that is what god is saying we must be able to be humble here and be able to take advice and take 
his commands and walk with it that we'll be able to walk in his kingdom there amen so we must be willing that we don't go over uh, uh, and beyond we stay within the limitation that he has given us that we become servants and work and abide as servants and serve as servants hallelujah so it's very important very very critical um, component here this morning and, and like i say we just want to get it out in the air because once we get it out in the air it is able to accomplish because the word would not return void and in the mouth of two or three witness every word will be totally established hallelujah so we give him praise we give him honor and we give him glory this morning we we looking at that aspect of being overly sensitive if we are not acknowledged amen we are not as christians people don't call us people don't acknowledge us people don't greet us people don't give us all these big accolades and all this stuff like that but we continue to be grounded in christ hallelujah so it's very important that we pay attention to that because as as he said in the in the, in the last days we're gonna see and an, an, an just an 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 overflow of these things men become lovers of themselves boasters proud hide minded and all this kind of stuff and we see it every day around us it's it's way way just as the bible has said so we must pay attention and we must raise these things to our brothers and sisters that we can readjust ourselves come back down hallelujah ask him to bring us down if we are getting too high in the name of jesus three four seven six six three eight six three eight Four seven six six three eight six three eight. Don't be shy. Don't be intimidated. If you're out there in Radio Land, if you want to share, you you know. What you have experienced no fear now surrounds me. and this kind of um things definitely hinder a lot of um works from being taking place in the body of christ because those who have the spirit of god and is called by god to be you know working in the vineyard working in the church they are not being placed because people <laughs> who are walking in the flesh you know uh, they, they they cannot acknowledge them for what god has put in them and that's that's why the the, the kingdom of god is is just suffering so much in the earthly realm because people who have the spirit cannot get the opportunity to do what they have to do that's why the sick is coming in sick and going back home sick and all these things are continuing to run and you know, curses continue to run in the body of Christ and different things because the wrong people are in the wrong places and the people who are in the places are not giving the people who need to be in the places their places, you understand? And that's going on. So we need to really, you know, evaluate and take our time and, and look and see what it is we are doing. Hallelujah. Because that day is going to come when you're going to face the king who has given you the commandments that you should abide by amen and we must pay attention at this thing amen if there are certain things you're listening to me and you're hearing me very clearly and there are certain traits that is not 
right as a believer that is continuing to dominate your life it's definitely time to call for deliverance it's time to reach out for help hallelujah you cannot go down in that state and condition hallelujah hallelujah you cannot allow yourself to go down no man knows the hour hallelujah so immediately as you realize those things are overtaking you you need to get rid of it get rid of it and allow someone to help you to get rid of it through the power of god hallelujah so it's very important that we understand that we are not hindering the work of the body of christ by putting ourselves in positions where we don't have to be because we don't have the the credential and the anointing to stand in those offices hallelujah hereby causing that position to be all null and void of no significance hallelujah and it's important that we understand that we, we cannot go unless god has called us amen if we are not anointed to stand in a position this is not a game this is serious business hallelujah hallelujah we need to be able to be an example for the believer and the non-believer that we we know christ and we are able to function so if the people come in from outside and they come in to be hands to be laid on and stuff like that and they come in and go the same way and nothing happens because the person who lay hands is not anointed and don't have what it takes but that person want to be in that position and all these things those things are devastating for the kingdom of god so we must be aware and be vigilant that the enemy is not using us to, 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 to really destroy the kingdom of God. And we need to remove ourselves from those areas where we are not called to stand. Hallelujah. So we give him praise, we give him honor, and we give him glory. Father, we thank you for the time that you have given us. We thank you for what you have put in our lips this morning and our hearts this morning, Father God. We pray that it will be well received by all those who are here this morning in the name of Jesus, that we will listen to the word that can be validated in your holy book. We thank you for the manual that give us life and give us a way to live, that we can fulfill all our duties, which is our reasonable service after the sacrifice you have made father we thank you in the name of jesus exactly seven minutes after nine if you're already in radio land this morning and you want to chime in feel free to share with us your testimony or things you have encountered in your walk that we can able to strengthen the body of christ because you see when we don't talk about it somebody might feel well nobody really go into this somebody might think i'm the only one it's probably no big deal that's where we all need to come forward and exchange ideas and exchange our thoughts in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let every word be established that we can put the, the, the enemy to shame. Amen. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. Trials come both left and right And in the center I'm now standing Not a trace of hope inside And if tears were only raindrops The universe would be flooding Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. And if if the questions could be modified to maximize its potential, feel free to do that. If you're out there and you say, "Well, you know, what you're saying make a little sense," but it can make more sense if you say it that way. It will have a bigger impact and really be able to cover a wider ground. Then, <laughs> hey, be my guest, hey, amen. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. If you're out there in Radio Land and you want to share something or you want to just definitely upgrade the question that it can sound better and be better and be more applicable to really, you know, do much more or be able to reach or cover wider ground, definitely feel free, always feel free to share with us. Amen. We learn from each other and we learn as we go along in life. Amen. So we are receptive for that if you're all day and you think you understand what the question I'm, or what I'm saying and you have something that you could share to broaden it or to 
impacted that you know we can be better impacted by it definitely feel free to give us a call 347-663-8638 indeed amen if you get in there for 10 you need to keep moving keep walking with your phone number 213-493-0146 to listen on your phone or download the tune in radio app and look for d choice radio t-h-e-c-h-o-i-c-e radio download the app in the first group of selections you would not find it so click on other results and there we go voice of glacier robinson Come both left and right And in the center I'm now standing Not a trace of hope inside And if tears were only raindrops The universe would be flooding what difficulty you're going to whatever you're facing once you are willing to go to him he is a gentleman bring it before the cross admit it forsake it and move on with life in the name of jesus amen The gun but morning hey, it's the lana morning sister philippa for the Aussie morning when it the entire family morning morning Stephen. please walk me through there 3476638638 that's all i ask of me thank you jesus for another chance in life Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for salvation, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for saving our lives, God. Thank you, Father. You promised us eternal life, God. You've given us the peace that passes it all understanding. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we give you glory. We thank you for the new life you have given us. We just take a moment to just evaluate where we was in life and where we are now. And Hallelujah. Have you forgotten where he have taken you from? What he have taken you from? And how he have brought you to a new place? And this morning the message was talking about when you get into that promised land and you get into that place of fulfilling what God wants to be fulfilling in your life. And the enemy is going to raise every kind of flag to try to slow you down and deviate you. Hallelujah. But thank God we have each other that we can remind each other to keep going on, my brother. It's worth it. It's worth it to keep going on in the name of Jesus. It's worth it to keep fighting for Jesus. It's worth it to keep going on when we see the Bible fulfilling all prophecies, everything coming. Oh my God, as we continue to be vigilant in the things of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, that you have sent a medium. You have sent a way. You have continued to send brothers and sisters to help strengthen the walk that we can make it all the way, God. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your truth. We thank you for your brothers and sisters in Radio Land who continue to encourage each other, Lord, that we're going to face tribulation. We're going to face trials, God, for your name's sake. But we are going to go on. And that's why we are here to encourage each other. Glory to the name of Jesus. Let us stand on what we know, what we have already experienced. We have tasted and see that he is good. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give him praise this morning. We give him praise. We understand how, you know, sometimes these topics, when they come out, they hit you, boop, in the belly, boop, in the stomach, boop, boop, in the chest. Hallelujah. <laughs> you're not expecting to hear it, but you're going to get it, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> An uppercut, boop, yes. Because we are called to, by the name of Jesus to do the will of the Father because he wishes for none to perish. So we're going to bring it to you. We're going to bring it to you. We're going to bring it to you because he wants to make sure that we don't perish for lack of information. Hallelujah. That's why he says, I am sharpened I and we come to remind the family of God to continue to walk with the Father. Don't let money take you away. Don't let fame take you away. Don't let notoriety take you away from the part of righteousness, the part of holiness. Glory to the name of Jesus. We are our brother's keeper. We continue to encourage the brothers to keep holding on to the faith. Let's contend for the faith in Jesus Christ. Let's fight for it. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord Jesus. So it's a pleasure to be here with you and it's a pleasure to bring these words to you as the Spirit put it in my spirit. We bring it forward. Cause it what it will. That one soul will be saved and life will be transformed and the glory of God will be seen in our friends and relatives, neighbors, in our church members. We are be able to bear fruits that are worthy for the kingdom of God. Let us do his will. Glory to the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we give you glory. You are worthy, God. You are worthy to be praised. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, a man that knew no sin. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You have put us in a different place this morning that we can listen to this program without getting weary and being bored. Hallelujah. Thank you jesus thank you lord for our new life we thank you when we look back we say oh my god i cannot believe that's where i was i cannot believe that's what i used to be indulging in i cannot believe i used to be listening to this i cannot believe i was a part of this hallelujah thank you jesus let's give him praise this morning wake up and give him praise thank him for your new life hallelujah glory to the name of jesus father help us that we're able to run this race all the way the full course all the way to the end and not stumble, not get weary, almighty God. Father, we thank you for your son Jesus once again in the name of Jesus. You know, many of us as Christians sometimes forget where the Lord has taken us from. And as a result, 
We fail to give him the glory. But I would like to draw your attention to the fact that all of us, I mean all of us, are nothing without God. Sometimes we get so proud, so high-minded, but we should be reminded by the scripture in St. Matthew chapter 23, verse 12. Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. So this is why I would like to share this song with you. Where from to high, Lord, bring me down. Give him praise this morning. So all those who function in whatever capacity, you might be cleaning the place or doing whatever it is. Once you're doing it for the honor and the glory of Almighty God, keep doing it. No man on earth have to tell you anything. Keep doing what you're doing for the honor and glory of Almighty God. Hallelujah. He's going to award you openly. You do it on the cover. No. Yes, thank you, Jesus. So keep doing what you're doing for the honor and glory of Almighty God. He will honor his word. 24 minutes on the other side of the nine. The Grace Trillers. 
definitely another arise in the morning time as we lift up the name of jesus and we thank everybody for listening uh, you know thank, definitely we thank you especially though you know you're listening you never call or whatever but you're listening there are always more listeners than callers amen <laughs> we definitely encourage you if you have something to share don't be intimidated don't be shy always be proud to lift up the name of jesus in whatever you do whatever way you live amen because all our testimonies whatever god has imparted in us uh, for others amen they are not for you to keep amen so sometimes god might touch you in us in a one special way that only you have that kind of testimony that is able to shed light or bring life to somebody who is going through that similar situation and if you have it it's important that you impart it hallelujah so it's important we in the body of christ be always willing by the spirit of god to bring out what god has put in us hallelujah very important very important very important principle if god has called you do not hold it back bring it out the spirit of god is put it in you go ahead and bring it out and you know let the empower the body of christ so it's important if you're out there you might not you know like to be on radio whatever it is but if you know the spirit of god is bubbling in you and i've given you an experience or given you something to share with the body of christ always be willing to do thus said the lord hallelujah especially if you know it, it has to be the lord that is speaking in you and speaking to you you can impart something to help somebody to go on to sustain their walk to continue their walk be always willing and be diligent to do thus say the lord amen so if you're out there in radio land you might not be you know you don't think that's your thing you know you know you know you just kind of lay back low key whatever hey god has called many of us in different capacity to do different things and we must always put what god put in us to do over everything else amen make sure that you make sure you put what God has put in you as priority above everything else or every feeling, every emotion, everything else that will try to hinder you, okay? So sometimes your breakthrough is just in this that you have to do to accomplish something God has given you one to do and you do this and that's going to happen. You do this, that's going to happen. You do this because he said very clearly, those who are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of them before the Father. Hallelujah. If you're proud of God, then God is going to be proud of you. Amen. That's just the way it works. Hallelujah. So always be willing to give him praise. If you don't have nothing to say, we understand that. But if you do have an experience and do have an encounter or do have something that you really and truly can bless somebody with, because as much as I could come on the radio and talk all this talk and play this music and do whatever it is, there are some people I would never be able to reach. And it's just you. It's your job, your voice, your anointing. That has the power to set that captive free and break that yoke. Hallelujah. Destroy that yoke. Hallelujah. So it's important that we always are willing to do the will of the Father. Very important that we are willing to do the will of the Lord. Let his will be done. Hallelujah. We give him praise this morning. Get in there for 10. We have a few more minutes. Sister Maria, good morning to you. Sister Monroe. Very important and very critical area for the Christian family this morning, being overly sensitive as to the reaction people give you in the body of Christ or wherever it is. We're always looking for, to be tap on the shoulder, tap on the back and all, the back and all these things. And we got to be very mindful of the devices of the enemy, the way he's going to cause us to stumble against the word of God and the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we must be vigilant always vigilant and sober minded as to the the works of the flesh hallelujah hallelujah so it's important that we bring these points from time to time that we evaluate ourselves we evaluate is it me is it christ in me or is it just me that is looking for acknowledgement you know what i mean so it's important that we really pay attention to those things in life because they are very destructive forces and the Lord is very not happy with, with those kind of ways. So we don't want to go and fall in the hands of the enemy when we take our eyes of Jesus and the basic simplicity of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So it's important that we bring these points from time to time. If you're out there in Radio Land, have something you want to impart. 347-663-8638. It's a rise in the morning. Many of us as Christians... Sometimes forget where the Lord has taken us from. And as a result, we fail to give Him the glory. But I would like to draw your attention to the fact that all of us, I mean all of us, are nothing 
without God. Sometimes we get so proud, so high-minded, but we should be reminded by the scripture in St. Matthew chapter 23, verse 12. Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be a base. And he that humbled himself shall be exalted. So this is why I would like to share this song with you. Grace and Peace Caller, good morning. Praise the Lord, good morning. Hey, praise the Lord, how are you doing? I'm thanking the good Lord. My name is Sister Campbell. All right, Sister Campbell. And I'm, I'm just calling in. I just want to thank the good Lord because he's so good. And I just want to say a little bit about uh, Christians being sensitive. I do believe that some, the so-called Christians are Christians. Uh, they are sensible, sensitive. The ones that go to church sometime or the ones that you might call the churchgoers. Because a lot of people go in the name of Christian. I see they hide behind the name of Christian when they, they are not doing right. So they get sensitive when you, I don't want to use the word judge because it's a sin to judge. Um, but when you call out, when you see what they're doing and they're not doing right and they're going under the name of Christians, you make us look bad. So, yeah, in that sense, I think that they are, Christ, they are sensitive. But when you're walking by the, in the spirit, you, you can't really afford to be sensitive about being a, a Christian. You can't afford to be sensitive because you, you're being led by the Spirit and you're walking in the Spirit. And you, no one is perfect, but you're, you're doing everything that you can to live right and to serve God the way that He would have it us to do. So I, I just want to thank God because I, I just wanted to say that. Amen. So you're saying that um, the, 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 those who are not really a Christian, that's the one that are sensitive, that's what you're saying? Yes. I don't find that Christians that are truly walking in the spirit, I don't find that they are sensitive. But, yeah, I heard the young man about titles, and we know that there's no titles in heaven. Uh, yes, they, those people are sensitive when they are not called by their titles. And, you know, they might say, well, I don't do this. I, I am Dr. So-and-so, and so and i do not do this, and I don't do that. But, you know, when you're walking in the spirit, that don't matter. Hallelujah. Your title don't really matter. So the key element this morning here is walking in the spirit. Yes, it, for me, you have, to, you have to be walking in the spirit. I mean, you know, everybody don't walk in the spirit right away. They have to either pray for the spirit or God just bless them with the anointing. You know, but uh, yes, for me, yes, you have to be walking in the spirit and you can't just be churchgoers because they are very sensitive because they are one foot in and one foot out. Of the world very very so ser very serious impartation this morning and and, and that's what, what you're saying is really and truly the key there is a lust of the flesh and lust of the of the of the of the eyes and everything else that goes along with walking in the flesh so once you're walking in the spirit those things don't bother you because you you're thinking beyond that you're moving beyond that yes yes Amen. But to God be the glory. We just have to keep praying for those that, that I call church gods. We just have to keep praying for those. Uh, perhaps I should say we just have to keep praying for the sinners, although we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So, you know, we sometimes we sin without even knowing or realizing or even intending to. So, you know, we are not perfect, but we do sin. Unwillingly, some of us. So in other so, words, mm -hmm. no, I'm done. Yeah, so I'm saying those who are in the spirit need to pray for those who are not in the spirit that they will be totally delivered and able to walk on the other side. In Amen. other words, right. So in other words, you're saying those who are in the spirit should not be easily offended and cannot be easily offended if they are not being titled or labeled or given this great accolades, but they are to pray for those who have come short and, and, and continue to find this to be a big hindrance for them. So we need to pray for them that they'll be able to come up higher and reach that place. Yes, sir. Amen. 
Thank you, Sister Campbell, for the call. I appreciate it in Jesus' name. God bless you, young man. God bless you too, ma'am. Thank you. Amen. 34 minutes after 9 o'clock. I thank you, Sister Campbell, for this great impartation. You know, many of us as Christians, sometimes... And it's easy for us to know when Christ has crucified her. You know, they, they crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the spirit, we're going to walk in the spirit. And once we are in the spirit, those things really and truly would not bother us. And um, that's really what it is. The key element is walking and hearing from the spirit of God that we, certain things don't really and truly don't affect us. We continue to function when we are functioning in the spirit. So it's another proof again, another way that we can know if we are really in Christ. If those things are overtaking us, we need to really pay attention and find out, am I in Christ? Have I left? Am I no longer in Christ? And nothing wrong with that. It's easy for us to understand that when we know what we are missing, we can find it. We can get it. <laughs> if we don't know what we're missing, that's a problem. Amen? When we, our conscience becomes seared and we, we're doing wrong, but we cannot even see this wrong anymore. We don't even know. There are many people who have gotten so far away from God and the basic principles and protocols of you know, salvation and stuff like that. There are places that, that you might go and they might talk about everything else. But talking about souls and getting people saved and seeing souls come in the kingdom. Some people have been in church so long that they stop talking about salvation. They stop talking, they just talk like every day, everything else. Totally forget about salvation and saving souls. Totally forget about that. <laughs> they will talk about putting a donation and helping us with this and helping us with that and doing a little more and putting a little more. And they totally forget about saving souls. Do anybody want to receive Christ? And, you know, so we must know when we are walking not, no longer in the spirit. And it's very important and critical component of conversation that the believer need, we need to have those kind of conversation that we can reevaluate our Christian walk and find out are we still walking in the spirit. Hallelujah. So once those things continue to overwhelm us and continue to dominate or dictate our you know, our movements in Christendom, we will definitely know where we are. It's like a, like, a, like a navigation system that tells you where you are. At. Amen? So it's important that we, we, we always evaluate and find out, am I still in Christ? When certain things become so, you know, so much more important than seeing souls saved and seeing people come into the kingdom of God. So that's when we know we are in the spirit and we are not in the spirit. Amen. So it's important that we make this evaluation from time to time so we can continue to realign ourselves because that is what God is hoping that the word of God is going to continue to, you know, move us to the left, move us to the right as we continue to bounce in and out knowing the enemy is trying to get you off track. Hallelujah. So I am sharp and iron and we come on and we bring these points and we raise them up that we all can look into ourselves and continue to evaluate ourselves as we walk and we run this race that is set before us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. We thank you for your truth. We thank you for your words of life. Hallelujah. That will lead to eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. I'm happy to be a Christian. I'm happy to be in Christ Jesus. Mold me and shape me, Lord. I don't want to fall. You know, many of us as Christians sometimes forget where the Lord has taken us from. And as a result, we fail to give Him the glory. But I would like to draw your attention to the fact that all of us, I mean all of us, are nothing without God. Sometimes we get so proud, so high-minded, but we should be reminded by the scripture in St. Matthew chapter 23, verse 12. Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased and he that humble himself shall be exalted so this is why I would like to share this song with you 
For the three, I think this should be a prayer that we all pray on a daily basis or weekly, whatever it is that we as, as we need. Very important that we continue to stay within the walls of the Christian principles and protocols, what God has given us, that we're able to find our way to Him. There's a very critical component of scripture right here in the in in, in, in the book of John, John 3 from 22. It reads after these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea. And there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anon near the Salem. Because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized. For John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying and they came unto john and said unto him rabbi he that was with thee beyond jordan to whom thou bearest witness behold the same baptized and all men come to him john answered and said a man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven 
ye yourself bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that had the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy therefore is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. Hallelujah. So we give him praise for all the example he has shown us. And, 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 and of course, you know, this is what God is talking about. That we leave room for others to increase in different capacities as we decrease. Because God is the one that is giving the gifts. And God is the one that is choosing. Amen. So once we are totally grounded in the word of God and we are really truly willing to be used by God then we are willing to allow God to have his way in our lives, in our ministries. If somebody come and God have brought somebody in for whatever time, whatever season to fulfill something, we got to be willing by the Spirit of God to allow that person to take their role and do what it is that God has put them there to do for such a time as this. And that is the basic principle of the Christian life, that we are willing to be submissive, submissive to the Spirit of God, that the Spirit of God is going to accomplish all that it has to through us but if we are walking in the flesh of course <laughs> the man the carnal man received not the thing of the spirit of god so he totally is out of clue he don't know from whence you came and who sent you and that is the problem and the chaos that is going on in the body of christ because there are many people who god have called and to various ministries to be able to whole you know certain position and be able to fulfill the word of god and the works of god in that capacity and they are being held back because people who are there before the leaders are not walking in the spirit and you know it's just the way it is they are not walking in the spirit so they cannot discern who is of christ hallelujah so it's very critical that we understand that we don't want to hold back the hands of god amen brethren in radio land you don't want to go before the throne of God and God is going to say, look, I, I sent two people to you and they were to perform such great wonders through your ministries to see so many millions come to Christ or see the power of God that they could turn around when they, by seeing the works performed in your ministry. But you did not allow the ministers I have sent. Do you understand how that's going to be? Imagine you get before the throne of God, the great almighty I am. And he said, you are the reason why 20,000 people are not saved. There were one shepherd who came to you. And I sent to you that you will allow him to show the works before one man who was in your congregation. That he will prove that I am God and give his life over. To go out and serve me in a certain capacity, in a certain country, in a certain neighborhood, a certain area. But because of you and your carnal mindedness, this was not done. Do you understand what we're talking about? Do you see what we're saying? Do you understand how crucial it is that we walk in the spirit and we seek to understand what the word of God is asking us to do? That we do not hinder the word of God and the works of the Almighty God. Do you understand how crucial it is for a soul not to perish, for not being willing to listen to the Spirit of God? And that's why I say, you know, all the time, I really and truly couldn't care less how much scriptures you can quote and how much word you know and how much things you can talk about the Bible. If you are not walking in the Spirit, and you don't believe in the spiritual application of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are totally disregarding the word of God. You are totally disregarding the power of God. And you need to get this right. Because if you die and go on. You're not going to go where you think you're going to go. By denying the spirit of God. Because the spirit of God is the power of God in the utter realm right now. Hallelujah. We had the prophets. We had the kings. Amen. They were anointed and appointed at times. And, and they did what they did. And God has sent them forth. And then God sent Jesus. And it was one man in one location that had to be taken out. 
that he can send the spirit to be everywhere at all times for all mankind to know that God is. So one man was in one location and had to be taken out that every, any man who believes can have the power to become a son and, and, and show the power of God all over the world. That's why he said he was going to destroy the, the physical kingdom of God and raise up the spiritual kingdom of God in three days. That's why we know God is a spirit. So he that believe God is a spirit, but don't believe in the application of the spirit, does not believe in God. Do you see me? If you say you believe God is a spirit, and you don't believe in the gifts of the spirit, you are, you are not a believer in God. Because God is a spirit. And through the gifts of the Spirit of God, he performs his works by the gift and giftings of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. So if you deny the Spirit, you are denying Christ. He said, I will go and I will send the Comforter when he comes. Hallelujah. So we got to be very careful, brethren, in Radio Land. We got to be careful under the sound of my voice. That we know what we are saying and we know what we are proclaiming and what we are not proclaiming. I always say this. If God created the heaven and earth, he created water. Have you ever looked at water? What is water? Who can make this thing? If he can do all that, if you believe that he is God, then what else is too hard for him to do? Why would you doubt the applications of the spirit? It is crazy. It is not of God for you to doubt it. Believe it and then ask him to show it to you how it works. It's better to believe everything the Bible says. Believe all of it. You cannot believe a fraction of the Bible and claim to be a believer. A believer is a complete, is a complete work from the beginning to the end. If you sin, you, you, you miss the mark, you miss the mark, you miss the mark. Whether by 10 degree or 100 degree, you miss is a miss. Hallelujah. So if you believe, you have to believe 100%. You have to believe all about it. And humble yourself. And ask God to display to you. Ask him to show you how it works. But don't say you don't believe. You cannot believe and say you don't believe this, you don't believe that part of it. You believe God, but you don't believe that. You believe he's a spirit, but you don't believe in that. You don't believe in talking in tongues. You don't believe, no, no, no. Very bad. Very bad, very bad, very bad. Any believer out there, I'm telling you the honest truth between me and you. Trust me, I don't care what religion, what denomination. Do not follow religion when it comes to God. Do not follow denomination. Do not follow tradition. Allow God by his power to lead you into all truth. Once you believe he's a spirit, then believe everything else. Hallelujah. If you believe he created heaven and earth, believe in everything else and then ask him to show you how it works. If you said speaking in tongues is for you, Father, show me how it works. And once you are humble, once you have submitted yourself, then God, in his timing, he's going to show you how it works. And totally make you a total believer all the way. Amen. So I'm happy to share this with you because coming into Christ and uh, um, a lot of things I've heard about and uh, you know, you have certain questions about it. You, you believe it based on who God is because many people believe in God but they deny the power thereof. If you believe God is the great creator, then there is no way to deny anything about him. If we believe he made all this great creation, then what else can't he do? Hallelujah. Amen. So we give him praise, we give him honor, we give him glory. And we must be willing to accept God in, in all his application. Everything he said, believe it. Believe that it, that's the way it works. If God said it works that way, that's best for you. Believe it. And then ask him to perform it. He is faithful to perform once you are willing to submit to yourself. Submit to him. And he's going to prove it to you in due time. I could tell you that for a fact. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. Let's give him glory because he's worthy to be praised. Glory to the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we just thank you for this time we have spent. We thank you for all that you have imparted in our spirit, God. Father, we pray that we came.
to lift you up that all men will be drawn unto you and men in darkness will seek your light your marvelous light in the name of jesus if you are listening to this program and you are church goer you like gospel music you believe there is a god and all this stuff but you have never yet confessed him you have never yet received jesus as your lord and savior i want you to say this prayer and ask god to come into your life you have tried everything else but you have never truly given jesus a true chance in your life say this prayer and mean it from the bottom of your heart and watch god run in and remove the old and bring in a new man that is going to show signs and wonders in the heart. Amen. Say this prayer with me and mean it from the bottom of your heart. Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. And I have displeased you in many ways. I believe you died for my sins. And only through faith in your death and resurrection can I be forgiven. I want to turn from my sins and ask you to come into my life as my Lord and my Savior. From this day on, I will follow you by living a life that pleases you. And I thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer this morning from the depths of your heart, God in his mighty power have already started to do the work in you, removing that stony heart, removing that old man, and bringing in the new man. Allow him to take his course in your life. Begin to read your Bible. And I want to encourage you by the Holy Spirit, ask God to lead you to a Bible believing church where Jesus is Lord and He is the main authority in that church. Everything is about Jesus. Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the evening, Jesus in the night. Everything is about Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. If you have found that place, then submit to that authority and be willing to function. In that capacity right there indeed a lady asked me she said why you don't talk about your church well you know I, um ministry is ministry you know what i mean and i don't think you know it's a it's very important to come and say well that's the church and that's the church and that's the church there are many churches and different churches are for different people amen based on, on your level based on where you're coming from based on what you need to be matured and to be nurtured amen so you know different churches are already but the key element is to find a church where Jesus is the main, main practice. Jesus. Amen. And if you're a believer in Christ Jesus, it's important that you get interested in the things of God. Make sure you are willing to submit yourself to the things of God. It's important if you're a believer, you must get totally involved in the kingdom of God. You want to know about your father business. You want to know what's going on. How do I this how this work? Amen. So it's important as believers we really and truly make up our mind to give God everything. Don't come in halfway. Don't come in looking back into the world. Don't come in looking at, well, I'm I'm going to God and but I can't wait for Labor Day to go on the parkway. Or I'm going to God but carnival next year or whatever no 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 you cannot come to god that way you must come one way with your head focused in one direction and then he's going to remove that veil and show you your true self and show you where you truly at and where you was in life and then the journey begins amen so when you come to christ don't come looking back don't come looking back come fully holy and solely that your mind is totally made up to be a child of God, to be an example in holiness, an example in righteousness, and God is going to fulfill everything that 
he's planning to do through his holy word amen so i thank god for everybody this morning thank you for every listener this morning we pray that you continue to pray with us as god continue to mold and shape me to be the best voice that you could hear that could encourage you and say all the things that have to be said but say it in a way that you're going to receive it with love and thanksgiving and you know hey that i want to offend you you know what i mean <laughs> amen so we just thank god for everybody out there every minister every minister of the gospel of jesus christ we thank God that we have each other. Amen. That we can help iron to sharpen iron and we can come and remind you of where you might be falling short or going away from God and come back. Amen. We thank God that we have that. Amen. I thank God for my wife, man, because my wife always, you know, she always point out something. Sometimes it's hurtful. I mean, it's, I mean, come on. Sometimes it's hurtful when she tell me, hey, come on, you just came from the radio. You just did that. Hey, 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 come on. Hey, hey, hey. She, you know what I mean? So we always help to sharpen each other and remind each other where we should be going, what we should be doing. And that's what friends are for. The friends who tell you the truth. That you can continue to move on to your great inheritance. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. We thank him. He's faithful. Amen. I'll be back with the final words. Remember the Christian life is not passive but very active. If you are in Christ you should be very active for the Lord. Amen. And if you are interested in joining the, uh, the, the, the Choice Radio team to go out to the hospitals and stuff like that, to pray for the saints and stuff like that, we want you to call the radio when the segment is over and leave a voice message. Leave your information if you're interested in going out to the highways and byways and getting there, to praying for the people, praying with the people, going to the various uh, facilities and stuff like that. You want to give your service, give your time. Call us, let us know when you're available and we're going to set it up. Amen. So we're getting ready to embark on that new journey on Choice Radio to be a part of the Choice Radio going out or team, whatever we're going to call it. But if you are interested, you're going to call after the segment is over. Sometime during the day, whatever you can call. Whenever, if you know somebody's interested, call and give your information. We can definitely get back to you. Uh, leave a detailed message and leave your information, call you back and stuff like that. We can put this together that we can go out and minister to the sick and minister to those who need to be ministered to. Amen. Thank you.
Hallelujah. Stay committed to Jesus. Don't care what it is. We have tasted and see that God is real and Jesus is Lord and he's good. It's no time to lose that. It's no time to fall back in the world. It's no time. It's no time. It's crucial now, brethren. We are in the last days. It's no time to get wa fear, weary and faint. No. It's time to bottle up. It's time to saddle up. It's time to gird your loins. It's time. It's time to be more diligent. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord Jesus. We always conclude with that piece of scripture here because this is so potent and so powerful here in Galatians. Very, very powerful. This is what we are facing. This is what we are fighting against. This is what we have to deal with. And, and this is where we can find out where we are in Christ. Regardless to what religion, what denomination. If you are not functioning in the spiritual realm, if you are not doing what God has called us to do, you don't have Christ. It's simple. It's, it might sound away, but it, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you have it, you're going to bring it out. It's simple. It's not complicated. If you have something, people are going to know you have it. Because he said, if you have me, signs will follow you. Okay? So let's not get it twisted. Okay? Let's not allow the devil to deceive us. We can have all the words, all the Bible, scripture. If we don't apply Christ in our daily activities, we don't have him. Because we cannot give what we don't have. Hallelujah. So that, don't be offended. But this is a reality of Christianity. He said, those who receive me, they are going to show signs. If you have Christ, Christ will come out of you because you have it. If you don't have it, let's find it. Nothing wrong. Once we got life, we got hope. Let's put down religion and ask Jesus to come in. Hallelujah. Nothing wrong. We still have life. Once we have life, we have hope. Now that we found this revelation, we need to be mature enough to rise up and say, I, I know I was missing something. I know all the scriptures, but my life does not represent Jesus. I'm not telling nobody about Jesus. I'm not looking for souls to be saved. Then I don't have Jesus. And that is the key because he wants us to have the fruit to show that we do know him. Hallelujah. All right, so let's get into this Galatians situation here. Galatians 5, um, 16, he says right here, very critical. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, that ye cannot do the things that he would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of thee which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, Temperance. Against such, there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Hallelujah. We give God praise, we give him thanks, we give him glory, and we honor him this morning for being faithful. Another day given to us that was never promised, but we gladly receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your words of truth. Father, we thank you for all that you have imparted in us, that we will be able 
to eat of the tree of life. Glory to the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for all our brethren and sisters across the diaspora, across all continents, across all the waters of the world, God, who have listened and tuned in this morning and were fed properly with the word of truth that they will go forth and bear fruits worthy of the kingdom of God. Father, we pray that everyone who have listened have listened with a humble heart that will receive your truth with thanksgiving to go forth and be a better creature in Christ. That men in darkness will see your marvelous light and would want to know who is your father. Hallelujah. And then you'll be glorified. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. Thank you for your word of truth. We rejoice in Jesus today. We rejoice. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So, Father God, we thank you for all that has been accomplished. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. Father, we pray that every glory, every honor, everything that was done in this program was done for your honor and your glory. And all is going to go to you. That you, by your power of your Holy Spirit, are going to draw all men unto you in the name of Jesus. Blessings, guys, and have a great day in the name of Jesus. Keep praying for Choice Radio. We really need your prayers. We need you to keep praying for us that we will be continuing to do what the Lord has asked us to do and continue to impart the word of truth. He said that the truth shall set us free. Let us humble before the truth that we can be made perfect in Christ Jesus. Amen. And that great day, whenever it comes, we will be ready hallelujah so we give him praise we give him honor we give him glory guys be blessed have a great day in the name of jesus continue to share choice radio download the application on your smartphone on um tune in okay tune in radio and look for the choice radio share it with your friends across the world wherever they might be give somebody life amen or dial 213-493-0146 and share it with all the friends on your contact list that we can lift up the name of jesus be blessed have a great day in the name of jesus amen Thank you, Lord Jesus. Take away the melodies Take away the songs I sing Take away all the lies And all the songs you let me write Does the man I am today Without your grace Another smile, another face Another breath, a grain of sand Passing quickly through your hand I give my life an offering Take it all, take everything Let them see One more time, a reminder to you as we get ready to hit the road and hit the homes and the hospitals and wherever it is to pray for the saints. Give us a call if you're interested in getting on the road and being on the forefront for Jesus Christ. If you are serious and you want to get out there and make an impact and be a part of it, give us a call, leave a voicemail with your information and we will get back to, to you. Amen. In a timely fashion. All right. 347-663-8638 Leave your information Let them see Thank you guys Be blessed of the Lord You're already blessed Amen Let them hear you Bye When I speak 